Okay, guys. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. We are going to be getting into the energy that you need to be aware of for the week. For all signs, this is going to be the water portion. So I'm starting off with Cancer. I am going to be using the Real Talk Tarot. Okay, we're going to be getting quick and concise messages. Um, what you need to know at this time. Thank you to everybody who has liked, shared, commented and subscribed to my channel so far. Um, I very much appreciate it. Um, if you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, I'm very grateful to have you. Happy Monday. Wishing you blessings for the week ahead. I'm going to be starting this off with cancer. This will be a time stamped reading. To make it easier for everybody to find their placements. If you have other placements, please check out the following readings um, that are going to be posted after this one. God willing. Let's get right into it. Messages for Cancer. Spirit, please guide and protect me as I channel the messages that Cancer needs to know for the week ahead. Tell me about the energy around Cancer, please. And thank you. The energy around Cancer. We have the star. Okay. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius. We also have the lovers. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini. We have... The Empress, okay. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus as well. Taurus energy, Gemini energy, Aquarian energy. Interesting, Cancer. Um, Some of you are taking a connection to the next level. You're enamored with this person. There's mutual feelings here. There's a lot of growth that's happening between you and another person. Bottom of the deck, we've got the Knight of Cups. Yeah. Lovey-dovey energy. Someone's really into you or they will be. I do feel like there's a lot of um, expansion, wish fulfillment happening between you and another person here with that star energy. This is really nice. This is really nice. I feel like this person is going to very much be um, looking after you. Some of you could be mothers. Some of you could be expecting. Some of you could be hearing a new hearing news about a pregnancy soon, Cancer. Wow interesting tell me more about the star tell me more about the star for cancer tell me more quite straight to the point reading we've got the knight of cups the judgment card and the temperance i feel like you've got a divinely led connection coming in i feel like the universe has sent this in for you you see how this guy here with the Knight of Cups is on the skateboard. I feel like something's coming thick and fast, I'm hearing, towards you. There's going to be a lot of messages going back and forth between you and another person here with the temperance energy. Um, there's an element of this being guided. This is a protected union, Archangel Michael energy. Knight of Wands, somebody's going to be very, very passionate about the connection, about you. I do believe this is mutual. Tell me about the Empress. Very straightforward message. Oh. These are so hard to shuffle. We have the justice and the page of cups. Yeah, whatever this new offer is, this is fair. This is just. This is something that you are, are being gifted by the universe. Um, this is fair, this is just, this is justice for you, I feel like you're going to be very attracted to this person, this may start off as like a little mini crush and it may turn into something really beautiful, something very long term um, and strong, um, long standing commitment, the knight of wands is still there, whoever this is, they're very excited when they're around you, this is a person who is extremely passionate about the connection that you two share, some of you are dealing with a Libra, Sagittarius or a Scorpio. Wow, straight to the point. I'll pull you some of these island time messages because I feel like that was just so straight to the point. Karmic relationship, fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. We have the runner. Runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy. Listening to ego, we've got love, unconditional love. This is what I thought. Self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. 
I feel like you could have been dealing with a karmic relationship in the past. Somebody could have took off. Somebody could have ghosted you in the past. And I feel like this is being replaced by something that is just for you. Um, with the justice card, this is karmic justice. Um, I do feel like you're going to be, um, your wishes are going to be being fulfilled in a connection with somebody. You're going to feel deeply connected to someone. This is a soulmate energy, both receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. You're moving on from something. You're moving on from a past situation and you're falling right into the arms of somebody who is wish fulfillment for you. I do feel like this is going to be mutual. This is love. Wow. That is what I see for you, Cancer. Please remember, these won't always resonate with every single Cancer placement. Okay, so do check your other readings as well. Um, but that is definitely a connection I see for whoever that's for. Okay, Pisces. Six minutes, oh four. <clears throat> Let's see, messages for Pisces. Tell me about Pisces, please. What does Pisces need to know? Please, Spirit, tell me about Pisces. We have the Queen of Swords. We have the King of Swords. The King and the Queen of Swords have come out together. We've got the King of Wands. Bottom of the deck, we've got the Ten of Pentacles. Some of you here coming up, Pisces, you're going to have two people pursuing you. You're very much in your power right now, Pisces. A lot of you could be trying to make a decision between two people. People could view you as very cutthroat at this time with the Queen of Swords. For some of you, for a select few of you, you're already matched up with somebody or paired up with somebody. And somebody else is taking your attention or has got your attention with the King of Wands. This is someone who you find very attractive. This could be somebody who's younger than you. This could be a traveller of some kind. Somebody who likes to visit places, travel festivals i'm hearing with the king of swords here with that queen of swords you definitely could have a counterpart there's something about two people you either choosing between two people or you being in the union and you um showing having an interest in someone else or this is someone towards you Pisces. some of you could be dealing with a fire sign sagittarius gemini libra aquarius leo the Queen of Wands. Now we've got the King and Queen of Wands. Yeah. The Page of Cups. The Nine of Swords. For some of you, you are stressed out about some sort of decision between two people. Now the Queen of Wands has come out to compliment the King of Wands. There's two potential relationships here. For some of you, you could be choosing between something that's more passionate. Something that kind of lights your fire. Um, Pisces. Someone who is very um, attractive, something that's very, um, very fiery connection or something that's more mundane, something that is more sort of, I feel like there's one of these people in this, in this dynamic you're very familiar with, you know, this person more than the other person, but for some reason, someone else is taking your, your fancy. This could be someone else. This could be you towards you. The magician card. Yeah, this is about what you're manifesting. There is a potential for two different types of union here. And they're going to be a different vibe. And this is what you're deciding who to give this cup to. I feel like there's some sort of flirtatious um, chatter going on. This could be online. You could stay up and speak to this person. And it's kind of making this decision a little bit harder because you're actually... Um, Developing some sort of liking to someone else. Eight of Wands communication, yeah, with the Three of Pentacles. Be careful of not putting anybody in no third party situation. I do very much feel like this is you, Pisces, with the Eight of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. You're definitely talking to someone. You're definitely talking to someone, Ten of Pentacles, and somebody could be in a whole union. Take it as it resonates. It could be that somebody else that you're talking to is in a union and they feel fired up towards you. 
with the Queen of Wands. It could be the other way around. It could be the other way around. Um, someone here is making a decision as in what direction to go in. Um, be careful of not putting anybody in a third party situation. I do see more people here. There's four court cards here. There's a potential for two different unions. Some of you, this is with a fire sign, an air sign or a water sign. Island time messages. Let's see. Talking. What did I say? You're definitely conversing with somebody. Interested? Conversing more. Awaited message arrives. Text call, email, hovering. You're talking to someone or someone's talking to you. There's communication going back and forth and you're trying to decide between two people. And this is actually slightly, it's stressing you out a little bit because you actually like who you're talking to. But there's another situation here that you haven't um, dealt with. There's someone else in your energy. There's two people in your energy. Boats, receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. For some of you, you are struggling to close out something with a past person. Love call, I'm telling you. You are talking, someone is talking to someone or you're going to be. Someone expresses love, message of love, thinking of you and letting you know with the love call. Hammer, sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working on it. For some of you, you are trying to figure out how to end a previous situation in order to go towards the new. I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming, fun, flirting, want to date. Someone has piqued someone's interest. The snake. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious. Look over your shoulder, the other woman. If you are a feminine energy, okay, be careful that someone is not stepping out on you. Put yourself where you go. Shuffle your feet where you need to go because I could be reading this totally um, different, different to what it could be. Take it as it resonates. If you are a feminine energy, um, you you could be in a partnership with somebody who is quite cold with you or it's very mundane. Something has become very repetitive in a dynamic between you and a person, but it's very familiar. It's something that you both know. You both kind of um, are familiar with this dynamic. That person could be talking to somebody else and that person could be um, trying to sway your person away because there is a queen of wands here as well. OK, you could be the queen of swords in this union and someone has been uh, is, is playing away and has a passionate connection that they're embarking on behind the scenes. Meanwhile, there's a whole ten of pentacles situation, but someone's acting like the nine of pentacles single because they're exploring their options. Seven of cups. I'm seeing two different stories here. Take it as it resonates, Pisces. Someone's flirting with somebody on the side. And they're worried about this. They, they're actually worried about this because they know that they have to make a decision on one of these connections or which direction to go in that I'm seeing. Okay, Scorpio. I'm going to start you at 13, 31. Those numbers could be significant. There could be mirroring going on. I nearly said Miriam. Your name could be Miriam. Miriam. That could be someone you know. Miriam. Miriam. Messages for the sign of Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know, please? Sorry. Tell me about Scorpio. Messages for Scorpio. Okay. We have the Knight of Swords. The Page of Swords. A lot of swords. You're going to have some someone coming towards you, like, thick and fast, like, hurling something at you. I'll show you these cards, Scorpio. Someone's coming in with some sort of um, impulsive communication. They're rushing in. Two of Cups and the Two of Wands. This is somebody who could be leaving another connection, Scorpio. 
this person could need to um, leave another connection. Somebody here could be committed or they're in a situation with somebody else. And this is somebody who wants to come towards you with some sort of communication. This person has been watching you with the Page of Swords. You could do something online that they watch. This person could like to watch you, like really like to watch you. Um, with the hanged one, this is someone who is stuck. This is someone who is stuck, Scorpio. It could be a Pisces. Someone wants to hurl some sort of communication at you. You see how all those knives are coming towards her here with that page of swords. You're being watched. And with that, this depiction of the Knight of Swords, somebody's coming thick and fast towards you. They could be driving to your home or they're going to be. This is someone who could be in another connection with somebody else. And this is somebody who needs to get rid of another option. This, this is a person who's at a crossroads. They actually have two different situations that they have going on at once. Or they are um, in a situation already with somebody else. Ace of Cups was flipped over. We're going to take it. We'll see if it wants to come out. Tell me about this Knight of Swords and the Page of Swords. What is coming at Scorpio? What is this person coming at Scorpio with? The Six of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, um, the Death card, the Eight of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles. This is definitely somebody who's in another commitment, another connection. With that Queen of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords, they're stuck in another commitment. They feel stuck in another commitment. Um, seven of pentacles they're investing in whatever this is for some of you they've laid down roots with this person this could be somebody who they have children with with the queen of pentacles and the eight of swords this is somebody who wants to end a connection that they are already in they feel stuck and bound to a person here this is somebody who is seeing success elsewhere in your direction scorpio this could be an earth sign a capricorn a virgo or a taurus um why is this person feeling this way with the death card why are they feeling this way they're definitely wanting to do something impulsive here the hierophant justice card the ten of swords the three of cups and the four of cups if this person ignored you in the past scorpio this could be a taurus this could be a um a Libra, this could be a water sign. If this person ignored you in the past, they feel like they were unfair to you with the Ten of Swords and the Justice card. They feel like they did you an injustice. They feel like they did you an injustice and they want to make something right with you. This is a person who wants to reconcile with the Three of Cups and the Hierophant. This is somebody who is feeling like you are deserving of something more than what they gave to you in the past. This is definitely a past person who you were involved with. This person could have put you on the back burner, didn't prioritise you, kind of overlooked you. The Ace of Wands, yeah, they could have been very much lustful. This could have been a person who chased it, chased, chased it, cho chose lust, chased lust. Especially with that Knight of Swords energy, this can be a very impulsive individual. But this is somebody who feels like they need to make it right with you. They don't feel right where they're at. This is somebody who feels stuck to a person that they, they're actually not wanting to be in that commitment. This is somebody who's looking towards you, Scorpio, with the Six of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. This is somebody who is slowly coming towards you to um, try to build something with you. Tell me about this Two of Wands. Too many. That lustful energy came out. Tell me about this two of wands. They definitely chose somebody else for physicality reasons, a passionate connection. Two of pentacles. This is definitely somebody who has two people in their energy. The hermit. I feel like you are spending a lot of time by yourself, Scorpio, with the hermit energy. The king of swords and the page of cups. This is somebody who's going to be coming in as if you're not going to be clear on what they want when they come towards you. This is somebody who's going to be very aloof first off. They're not going to be making it known what their intention is. But this is a person who actually has a crush on you, Scorpio, with the Page of Cups. They really like you. For some of you, they like how you keep yourself to yourself. You're very in your own energy. They could view you as somebody who's very much in their own little bubble with the Hermit energy. It could be a Virgo. The Judgment. Yeah, this is somebody who wants a second chance with you, Scorpio. This is definitely somebody who wants a second chance. 
What is their intentions with Scorpio, please? And then we'll grab you some island time messages. These cards. What is their intentions with Scorpio, please, Spirit? What is this person's intentions with Scorpio? I might pick a card. The Empress to grow. Nine of Swords. They feel like you're out of their league. If this person dismissed you in the past, Scorpio, if this was a person who put you on the back burner, yeah, with the Four of Cups, you could have felt unseen by this person, like everything else came first, okay? This is now a person who views you as somebody who is on a pedestal. This is a person who even questions whether they are good enough for you now, Scorpio. With the Nine of Swords, this is somebody who is extremely worried that they don't have enough to give you. They view you as somebody who is very abundant. With the strength card, could be a Leo. This is somebody who has held back from you in the past. And this is somebody who really worries about whether they're going to be able to step up to the plate. They could view you as somebody who's high maintenance. But I do feel like this person lacks confidence where it comes to you. Standing next to you, Scorpio, it's almost like this person questions a lot about themselves and what they can bring to the table. But their intention is to grow with you. Their intention is to have a connection with you. If they weren't there in the past, they definitely are now. And this is somebody who possibly got with somebody else. And they're not happy in the connection. They're actually quite dissatisfied. This is someone who wants to end the connection that they're already in. They feel stuck. They feel burdened. They feel stressed. Tell me about this person. With the island time. Oh, we have coffee cup. Um, meeting and conversing, savouring the moment. Feeling uplifted and friendship. This is somebody who wants to meet up with you, talk to you. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if this person shows up. Healthy choices, making healthy choices in love and in life. Self-love, self-care, being happier. The chaser. You're going to have somebody on your tail, Scorpio. Somebody views you as the better choice. Somebody views you as somebody who is um, the healthier choice. You also could be very spiritual and grounded. This person can view you as somebody who is some sort of leader, a teacher, somebody who's very wise, somebody who could teach them something as well. Um, you're going to have someone hot on your tail, chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment, with healthy choices and the chaser, and the dragonfly and soulmates, be lighthearted, finding out things come into light, adapt, change and heal, soulmates, soul connection, partnership agreement, soul contract. This is a person who is waking up to the fact that they have a soul tie to you, Scorpio, addiction, is at the bottom of the deck, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block, restraint. This person could be coming obsessed with you. They're very possessive. If this is definitely per a person that you dealt with in the past, long term, if you had some sort of established relationship with this person, they definitely feel connected to you. They feel possessive over you. This is somebody who doesn't want you to get away from them. And it's ironic because this could be somebody who ran away from you in the past. They possibly put you on the back burner and you've had some sort of glow up, elevation. You've worked on self. You've done your own thing. You could be very much an energy who stays to themselves. But they see now that wherever it is that they're at, they're not satisfied with what's going on. They're not happy with where they're at. They're actually very unhappy. They feel stuck, like they're in some sort of jail. For some of you, they're with somebody who's very possessive as well. Somebody could be codependent on them. I'm getting that strongly. They could be dealing with somebody who is um, taking from them or very codependent, is, is kind of um, feeding off of them somehow. And they feel stuck to that situation, Scorpio. Scorpio, that is what I have for you. Um, water signs. If you like how I read, please like, share and subscribe. <clears throat> I feel like I've got a frog in my throat. <clears> throat> I'm feeling a bit under the weather, guys. Ah, oh, again. Um, but until next time, I will see you soon, Water Signs. I am now moving on to fire. So if you have fire placements, please check out the next reading. It will be timestamped. Timestamps will be available in the description box once I post the video. Have a good week, guys, and I will see you soon. Bye.